Welcome back to Song Builders TV. It's been a long time I should have left you. since we left off. Some good things happen, some bad things happen. You know, balance. One song I got to work on went platinum this last May. You got it, you got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is reading, reading. I heard you got a nice ass and good Another song I got to work on, kind of outside my usual genre. I hope that you're ready to rumble, cause I'm on my weapon with me, I don't tussle. Only the gang nigga don't trust you. Did like over a million streams in one week, and it's still building, of course. And I'm a newly elected chapter governor of the Atlanta branch of the Recording Academy. Now on the not so good side, on the bad side, had a couple of setbacks. My equipment got stolen. Not this that you see behind you, but my traveling setup, my whole production setup, laptop, external drives with all my content and my music gone it was in a car and i know what you're thinking like oh damn somebody broke into the car and got me they took the whole car so i don't even think they knew they were getting the music equipment when they stole the car but yeah that crime wave you might have heard about hitting atlanta it's real lost a lot of the music uh sounds plugins and stuff that i've been building up over the years i lost a lot of the footage i was working on so that's been one of the setbacks in getting the episodes out to you. Some stuff was backed up, but I wasn't super current on the backups. So I still lost a lot, still playing catch up. So what have I learned? I don't wish this on anybody, but real quick, let's cover what you should do if you ever find yourself in this situation. Hold on, let me pause right here. Now I realize I'm about to go into some tech talk that might bore some people. So let me try to put some music under it real quick. As you know, a lot of my recent stuff is gone. So let me build a beat from scratch real quick. gonna cook first we need to build the ingredients okay we need a kick all right need a snare now when some people heard about my theft situation certain producers reached out let me make this real quick and simple sent me beat folders full of drum sounds and let's find a good 808 so special thanks to robot scott aka scott carter rated r decomposer and blazing beats now they got me for my new stuff, but not the archives. I've been going through old disk drives, old CDs, and one day I'm going to dig in these reel to reels to basically stock my library back up. Now here's a guitar part I found from a song I did back in like 2011. Let me just get this little pre-hook part. Now look, I'm not going to think too hard or work too hard on this one. Let me throw it in this cue sampler. It's going in the background while I'm talking. All right, so let me play with it. Should just be kind of pop, simple, non-threatening. Moving on. If any music equipment is stolen from your car, for example, first and foremost, you gotta file a police report. Cause no insurance is gonna honor anything without a police report. Now your auto insurance only covers the damage to the car and the car itself. Now items stolen from your vehicle, that's covered by your home insurance policy. And if you don't own a home, then it's your renter's insurance. When you go to rebuy your stuff, they're not gonna cut you a check to get everything new. So you're gonna want a bargain shop. Now backing up the discs. I had time machine but I was only using it to back up my laptop. I wasn't using it for my content drives. And for that, I would've needed like 15 terabytes. Then, when they sent the new laptop, it was a different OS version. Even with my time machine, you can only back up the data that was on the laptop and not the whole thing with all the installations that I had in my old laptop. So with that said, in the future, I'm gonna use Carbon Copy Cloner. When you clone your drive, the operating system is on there also, so you don't have to lose anything. So, when you're shopping for new external hard drives, now you wanna keep your extra content on an SSD drive. They're the fastest and sturdiest on the market. But when you get above two terabytes, it gets real pricey. So when you back this up, just use a regular regular HDD drive. You can get a much higher capacity for a lower price. So for a complete breakdown of backup strategy, check out the YLogic Pro Rules channel. It has a post that spells out a really good system in my opinion. Check it out when you can. I'll put a link below, even though that's not my channel. Now I'll be honest, after going through the theft of my drives, I'm not letting my songs live long term on hard drives anymore. Like for weeks I've been digging through the archives, old drives, CDs, data CDs, even DATs, if you remember what they are. Looking, listening for any and everything I could use to restock my arsenal. Now listening back to this stuff, it brought back a lot of good memories, but it also gave me an idea for an exercise I could put out there to y'all. So please try this at home. Beat makers and songwriters, this is your homework. Pick through your old stuff, even if it's your first stuff. Two to three songs from your old catalog. Find a way to make them 
become relevant in 2022. Maybe you're listening to this in 2023. Now in other episodes, I've talked about the elements of a song that I listen for. That's tempo, melody, and soundscape. That's if it's a track. If it's a song, then we're talking concept, melody, lyrics, and flow. If you take one of your old ideas that you believed in at one time, it's likely that just tweaking either the tempo, soundscape, or melody, or some combination could actually make it work today and tomorrow. It doesn't have to be a hit out the park, but just do it as an exercise, and I'm willing to bet you at least one out of those three joints, you're gonna find greatness. So let's test that theory. So all these good and bad stories, these will probably be the subjects of the upcoming episodes this season. A lot of the content I've done so far has been education through playing other people's music, but when you play those clips that long like that, you can't monetize it anymore. But monetizing these videos hasn't really been that important to me yet. If you do want to support the channel, I'll leave some links for that too. If you're on the email list, I'll hit you up with other value items as they come. I'll be doing workshops, I'll be doing virtual workshops. Might have Merc up there soon. Maybe one day I'll dig in these archives and make some sound packs to sell to you guys. Let me know what you're here for. Still, good things come out of these videos, so I'm gonna keep doing them. And like with all my episodes, I hope this helps you build better songs in your own catalog. So stay tuned, and as always, peace and keep building.